Hi, welcome to the NT Bucket List. We're down here at the wharf chasing a storm, but first we're going to visit Paul Arnold's gallery. I'm with Gilda at Paul Arnold's Photo Gallery. How are you going, Gilda? I'm fine, thanks, Dee. That's great. Now, listen, we've been checking out all these exciting lightning photos. The reason is, it's because you want to take photos like this yourself. It's your NT bucket list wish. That's right. I just can't wait to get into it. <laughs> Tell me a bit about yourself. Well, we've travelled, we've worked our way around Australia, starting off in Queensland, and I bought a camera before we left in the hope that I could get some really good shots. So. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can learn something. And I'm very privileged to have Paul as a teacher. Just looking at his photos, it, they're just wonderful. So, Gilda, now that you've been to Paul's gallery and seen his amazing work, how does it feel to be down here learning from the best in the business? I'm really excited. I just can't wait to get out there. And Paul's a real inspiration. He's got gorgeous photos. So, Paul, we're down here at the jetty. It's an amazing location. What are you going to be teaching today? Well, we'll talk about camera settings to start with. We'll work through basic camera settings. And how hard is it to get the elusive perfect picture? Sometimes you might take 10 photos, might take any. It all depends, it's one of those real hard, but that's what I love. Yeah. So it is a great passion for both of you, so I'll leave you both to get into it. That's all set for you. What we do is we're going to get you on this side of the camera. That's when you start learning and, yeah. and having a bit of fun. So what is a lightning trigger, Paul? Okay, a lightning trigger basically replaces the remote and it detects changes in light. See that? Yep. I'm not even facing, it's how sensitive these things can be. I use those creatively to work out with my shutter what I want to do. I use a combination of the, the ISO, the aperture and the shutter to get what I'm trying to achieve. So do you now feel capable of achieving what you want to with your photography skill? Absolutely, just got to put it into practice. Well, go and enjoy it. Thank you, Katie. We'll leave Gilda to go and get that shot. If you've got something you'd like to tick off your bucket list, log on to 10 Darwin's Facebook page to find out how.